Hey makers, this is Ruvin and I welcome you all to Power Platform Deployment Step by Step series and you are watching the third episode of this series. In this episode, I am going to talk about how we can get started of creating the deployment pipeline in Azure DevOps. In my previous episode, we already registered the Azure application, we already set up the DevOps project. So now it's the third step to set up the pipeline. In order to get started with that, open the same Azure DevOps project that we have created in our previous session. Simply click on the pipeline section from here and click on pipelines. Over here, you need to create your first pipeline. Click on create pipeline. That will open up this kind of interface to you. Simply click on use classic editor. And now from here, select Azure repository Git. I'm selecting the main branch from here and keeping other option as is. Simply click on continue button and that will open up this kind of select template interface. Over here, click on empty job. And this will create this kind of empty job pipeline for you. Over here, you can provide any name for your job. Over here, I'm just providing my job name as source export so first in the source pipeline what we need to perform here is we need to perform the different task so to add the task simply click on the plus icon and over here simply search for power platform build tool so when you search for power platform it will show you the first task over here power platform tool installer let's click on add so that will add this thing over here here you don't need to change any setting perfect after that you need to make sure in which environment you are connecting here so simply add one more task over here and search for who am i so who am i will simply provide you that which connection you have connected over here once you add that you need to confirm couple of things over here here you need to configure with service principle so i'm selecting that and over here we need to simply select the service connection so i'm just providing here source connection over here that we have created in our previous session simply click on that and all good now next step we need to export our solution so for that let me add one more task over here add and search for export power platform solution so you can see this option export power platform solution and now over here you need to again provide the authentication type so i'm selecting service principle and i'm selecting my source connection that we have created here we need to provide the name of the solution now to provide the solution name let's create a variable so i'm simply going to the variable section and adding one more variable so let me provide the name of my variable as solution name and here let's provide the name of the solution. In this case, my solution name is power platform apps. So let me copy this internal name over here. So I'm just copying name from this name column power platform apps. Let's provide the value over here. And now let's go to the task again. I'm here in the export solution and now let's provide the solution name over here. Now we already defined that in our variable. So let's use dollar abbreviation over here and inside that provide the exit same name that you just created solution name. So solution name is your variable. Okay. So I just provided here. Now here you need to provide the solution output file as well. Okay, so now here also there is one more option export as a managed solution or export as an unmanaged solution. So here two options it provide. Now let's say for an example, in my case, I want to export simply that as unmanaged solution. So I'm not taking this box over here. What I'll simply do here is I'll just provide some output file path over here. So for that, you can browse the solution output file path over here. like this way uh, basically you wanted to store your uh, solution over here or simply you can provide this kind of uh, path over here 
that path will be your staging directory build dot staging directory slash your solution name underscore unmanaged dot zip okay so this will considered as your solution output file path and don't worry all of this exit name i have added in one of my code file which i uploaded on the github and the link is available in the description box okay now here you don't need to provide any tar uh, target version but make sure that you select that export solution as asynchronous operation that's perfect and all good we are done with this step now after we export the solution the next immediate step that we need to perform here is we need to unpack our solution so let's search for an unpack solution so this is the exact same thing that we are doing was ci cd earlier okay so i have created lots of video related ci cd so this is the same version but in the azure devops pipeline form okay so here let's provide the input file so here the input file is the exact same that you have created over here in the third step okay so copy and paste the exact same path over here then as a next step you need to provide the target folder to unpack the solution so this is the path where you want to unpack your solution okay so here what i'm doing here is simply i'm providing this kind of path like source directory slash solution name and slash unmanage in unmanage folder this entire unpack version of the file will be there type of solution is unmanaged that's fine and i just don't want to do any other option okay perfect so our fourth step is also done now as a next step we need to add one more task here which is your publish artifacts so let's provide publish artifacts so here i'm just selecting publish build artifacts and that will add this kind of stuff over here okay so here by default name is this here path to publish so you need to provide the exact same path that you have created in your previous step so this is your target folder path copy this path which you have added here and provide it exactly here path to publish so this is the path you need to provide source directory slash solution name slash unmanaged perfect drop azure pipelines all good so it's done publish artifacts and the last step is that we need to run some command lines okay so let's add one more time add task and search for command line script let's add that and that is added this kind of stuff over here now here we need to execute some of the azure devops command so here i pasted one of the script and that is something which i have provided in the github repository link here as well so first of all you need to provide your user email and username this is the similar name with the azure devops you are login with then you need to check out your main branch then git will perform the pull operation then git will add all the file to the git repository and it will perform the commit operation that updated the solution okay and at last it will just use extra http it will just use the authorization header the access token and push this file to the origin okay so it just did this perfect part so we just need to add the exact same line of code over here simple easy and straightforward so our deployment pipeline is ready now let's save this stuff so i am simply clicking on save button over here and now let's run this to run this let's simply use the q option over here and simply click on run button and let's see what will happen it has started the run and you can see that this job is running here simply click on that to see all the operation in depth so it has started running the different step over here like initializing job it has started installing the stuff you can see all the execution time over here who am i right now it is in who am i step and it start authenticating and saying that in which environment you are in after that it start exporting the solution so let's see what happens here so it has exported 
the solution and you can see this green tick box which means that those steps are executed successfully uh, this blue and inside that this kind of spinner it is showing that it is still performing that operation over here so it has unpacked the solution as well it has published this drop file over here now it is executing command line script now here it throws me this error now if we get any kind of error how to debug that let's have a look on that as well here the error saying that cannot prompt because the user interactivity has been disabled so now let's go back and i already know the solution so let's click on edit pipeline here and simply select your pipeline and over here make sure that you just allow this option allow scripts to access the oauth token okay now let's click on save and queue let's do this save and run and let's see this time what happens and here we are this time it executed perfectly and my entire job ran successfully so our deployment pipeline works perfectly and now let's check the file that are created over here so simply expand on repository go to the file section and here you can see that it has created this kind of folder power platform apps in unmanage you can see all the application flow whatever i had there it stored all the files perfectly over here under my main branch of this azure devops repository isn't that cool so we successfully created our deployment pipeline now in the next step we need to set up the release pipeline so in our next episode let's deep dive into that if you find this video helpful and it values your time make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel so see you in the next and last session